President George Herbert Walker Bush loved his family, and he served his country. He showed us that how we live is as important as what we achieve. Today, this hero has returned to the Capitol a final time. Good evening. I'm John McKay, live tonight in Washington. Thank you for joining us. Tonight, Texans are joining with other Americans who are all recognizing former President George H.W. Bush here at the Capitol building tonight. The mood in Washington, D.C. for most of the day, it is cold outside, there's no question, and it is not one of, of happiness, but somberness, but people also sharing warm thoughts about a man who they all thought was very special. I want to take you inside right now. Here's a live picture of the Capitol Rotunda where the 41st president lies in state tonight. In just a little while, visitors are going to be able to pay their respects over the next couple of days. We'll also have your messages, your tributes from Facebook and Twitter. They'll be scrolling at the bottom of the screen. Now, today, politicians and dignitaries, including a number of Texans, have been paying respects to the former president. We actually saw Texas Senator John Cornyn. He was seated in a front row there. And the president's family, has been uh, mostly away from the scenes, was out today, began paying their respects today. His children listened to the kind words said about their father, former President George W. Bush, visibly shaken and had to hold back some tears momentarily, as you might expect from a son who was so very close to his father. There was also this very powerful moment. Take a look. The president's family gathered around his casket with his dedicated service dog, Sully, the family spokesman, Jim McGrath, tweeted that image out today. 